Hi, this is Carl B. Welcome to my NFL 2023 to 2024 season review. I felt obligated to make this video because so many crazy things happened last year. All kinds of records were set, um, tons of upsets, people fired left and right, uh, and I haven't seen anyone else making a video analyzing the full season. So uh, disclaimer, as you see, I'm not in any way in the sports industry, and this is my first sports video, so keep that in mind. Uh, NFL records, so of course there were some notable things that affected more than one team, which I'm putting in here. Except for the first one kind of is a team record, but it was, you know, it hadn't happened in almost 60 years. So I figure that was a big event in the NFL where, of course, the Dolphins got 70 points in a game. And you can see several other notable things happened, like uh, five teams getting last second field goals to win their games in the same week. Okay, rookies were a huge story this past year. Um, you can see two of the most famous ones right there, CJ Stroud and Puka Nakua. Uh, C.J. Stroud was such a good rookie. I'm pretty sure he's going to be called the greatest rookie quarterback ever. He set a ton of records, ton of performance, made it all the way to the playoffs with a team that before that was considered nobody's. Uh, Puka Nakua was also crazy good. Um, tons of receptions, lots of um, yards after the catch, even some runs. He, he did amazing, and they weren't the only ones. Okay, some team records from the year. Some of these are um, franchise and some are league records. But you can see the Dolphins, they set a bunch of records this year. And then the Raiders had eight different players score a touchdown in their big upset over the Chargers, or uh, defeated the Chargers. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs, of course, set some records. Cowboys set a record. Uh, Ravens, Browns, Green Bay, all kinds of teams had records. The Steelers had some um you can see right there, Steelers had a couple things going on. San Francisco had 22 interceptions. Uh, there, It was just crazy how many, every single week, there were uh, records being broken or noteworthy things happening. Baltimore's defense, there was a triple crown. That's apparently the first time in history that happened. Okay, quarterbacks. Of course, we have a lot of good, really good quarterbacks right now. Some of the best in history, and uh, they set a lot of records this year as well. Brock Purdy, there were so many questions about if he was actually good or not. And even though he didn't win the Super Bowl, he got to the Super Bowl. So I think that was settled. Uh, Mahomes set a couple of records in the regular season, but uh, he also had to play off in Super Bowl records that I will be showing later in those sections. Of course, uh, Josh Allen had a great phenomenal year, even though the Bills, you know, they had that streak where they weren't uh, doing very well. But they came on really strong at the end of the year. Lamar Jackson, of course, everyone raved about Lamar. And uh, he was one of the best quarterbacks that we've ever seen. Everyone thought they were going to the Super Bowl. Uh, even obscure people like the uh, Jake Browning here did really well. Joe Flacco. Uh, it was the year of backup quarterbacks. And that's going to be shown in this video as well. Uh, Tua had a ton of passing. So did Mahomes. Uh, Jalen Hurts with the tush push, of course, which may be outlawed after this season. Um, Joe Flacco was a big story. He did really well for a while with the Browns. And even Geno Smith, I'm a Seahawks fan, and Geno set a record, which these two records are almost the same. The uh, go-ahead touchdowns in the last minute and go-ahead touchdowns in the last quarter uh, they're almost the same. Um, <clears throat> receivers did remarkable this year, rookies and uh, veterans. You see here Amari Cooper at 265 yards in one game receiving. Debo Samuel set a record. Uh, Jamar Chase did really good. C.D. Lamb had an amazing year. Tyreek Hill, of course, everyone raved about. Uh, DK Metcalf ran over 22 miles an hour <laughs> in the game with the uh, against the Cowboys. Zay Flowers did really well. There were all kinds of really good, strong performances by receivers this year. And there's some more records for DK Metcalf since uh, he is on my team and he is a phenomenal receiver. Okay, rushing records. 
Um, I didn't see as many. Maybe I didn't look, spend as much time looking. But uh, basically, there were two players that really stood out to me. And, of course, the first one here is Christian McCaffrey. Um, as you can see there, he set, he led the league in a bunch of categories and set some uh, 49ers franchise records as well. And then the Dolphins. HN had a great year. Uh, the highest yards per carry, apparently. And he scored seven touchdowns in his first four games. Uh, defense had a lot of good, strong performance as well. T.J. Watt, there were 19 sacks. Uh, Leonard Williams played in eight games, first time since 1930. Uh, Micah Parsons, of course, everyone has heard about how great he is as a defender. There were just all kinds of, of uh, stellar performances this year. Even special teams got a few. Uh, some kicking and returning records there. Okay, playoffs. Yeah, there were lots of crazy things that happened in the playoffs too, including lots of upsets. You can see here the 49ers, they won their 38th NFC uh, conference title. That's crazy. Um, Holmes had some records, all kinds of people. I, I put the Buccaneers in here, even though they're not really considered a top-tier team. They had a huge win over the Eagles and set a bunch of uh, franchise records. And then there was the Super Bowl. Now, yeah, the game was kind of boring because uh, both defenses were containing the other for a lot of the game. But uh, there were quite a few records set, as you can see here. Mahomes set some records. Uh, Kelsey had a great outing. And then... Uh, there was a bunch of kicking records in the game there. Most field goals, longest field goals, uh, most field goals over 50 yards. Okay, so what were the worst things that happened in the year? Well, there were quite a few, and I'm sure I missed some, but uh, Carolina Panthers were one of the worst things that happened with only two wins. Uh, the Patriots and the Panthers did not get many points. There was a game with only three total points. Then you had this mess at the Meadowlands, which even though it wasn't the lowest scoring game, it was horrible by so many measures, especially the receiving, I mean, the passing. Uh, Giants only had negative nine yards for the whole game. Uh, and then, of course, a big story at the end of the season, a bunch of coaches got fired, including the two oldest coaches in the league, um, Pete Carroll and Bill Belichick. And they did not get hired on any other teams. Uh, some final extraneous things there, record betting, record viewership of the playoffs and record ticket sales for some teams. And that is it. That's my wrap-up of the 2023-2024 NFL season. Thank you for watching.